Here are my thoughts on the most common analogies of the Trinity. Firstly, God is like water. Water has three forms, solid, liquid and gas, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Now, considering that water is made up of entirely H2O molecules, whether it's solid, liquid or gas, since Jesus was a human, are you saying that the Father, God, is made up of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen atoms? Not only that, but water can only ever be 100% solid or 100% gas or 100% liquid. The Trinity says that God is 100% Father and 100% Son and 100% Holy Spirit, which is a contradiction and doesn't make any logical or rational sense. You cannot have a squared circle. You can only have a square or only have a circle. The second analogy is that you guys say that God is like an egg, in that an egg has a shell, a yolk and a white. Firstly, why are you comparing God to an egg? Seriously, is this how far you're willing to go? Now, I can literally destroy this analogy, but what you'll realise is that with all these analogies that you come up with, you use something called confirmation bias, which means that you look for patterns in creation to explain your creator. What's the difference between you saying that God is like water, God is like an egg, and me saying that I have five fingers, therefore God has five coexisting parts? There is no difference at all. And before you say that we can never understand God, it's one thing trying to understand a concept, but it's another thing trying to understand a contradiction. This is why Islamic theology is the only theology that truly makes sense. One God, no partners, no associates, doesn't beget, isn't begotten, all is dependent on him, he is dependent on none, and there is absolutely nothing in creation that resembles him in any way, shape or form. God created you with an intellect that rejects contradictions. So how then can you believe in a concept of him, the creator of your intellect, that your intellect rejects? Think.